Hey guys, welcome back. So, let's talk about tools. Tools are one of the best things about HVAC. Tools are one of those things that you are going to eternally spend tons of money on. Most of the good technicians do. In fact, a lot of times the good technicians, they will buy new tools all the time. I have about four different sets of tools. Um, with two sets of almost every single meter. The reason is because if one breaks, I want to have an extra. But also because in HVAC, there's several different applications for tools where I don't need all of the tools at once. I've subsectioned my tools into installation tools, plumbing tools, HVAC technical tools, so service call tools, and then maintenance tools. There are always new ones. There are amazing tools out there and you will forever, as soon as you start an HVAC, until you retire, you will be buying tools and tools and just nerding out about tools. The better the tools you have, doesn't necessarily mean that you're the better technician, but a lot of times you need to have the right tool for the right circumstance in order to take what some people take 30 minutes on, it'll take you five minutes on. So I'm very big and I'm a huge proponent on having more tools than maybe people think that you need because when you get into those circumstances where you need that one tool, but you only needed that tool once, you'll have it. I would recommend starting out with just what I would call a maintenance package amount of tools. You will be adding to it very, very quickly, but the basic hand tools are what you're gonna need if you're doing maintenance. Installation, you're gonna need a little bit more of, you know, the sawzalls and more heavy duty tools, but for what you're gonna be more than likely starting with, you're gonna need just the basic stuff. As you progress, you are gonna end up needing your dedicated maintenance tools. I would recommend also having dedicated installation tools, dedicated service tools, and maybe some dedicated plumbing tools. The reason is because if you have multiples, you are definitely bound to lose a tool or two. It just helps you in the interim. If you lose one, you have a replacement that you can grab quickly but also it cuts down on having one gigantic huge bag of tools that you have to rustle through any time that you're at a client's house. One of the things that people don't realize is that a lot of times, especially right now, clients will want to watch you while you do your work. And so if you have a tool bag that is completely disorganized, your whole credibility with how good of a technician you are goes out. If you can't find the one tool that you're looking for under the stress of this person looking over your shoulder while they're judging your dirty tool bag and all the tools rattling around, they are gonna equate the service that you are giving to their furnace with what is in your tool bag. I always recommend update your tool bags as well annually. These are all tools that are going to really start adding up in costs. And for most of us um, in HVAC, we take advantage of something that most companies give us and that's called a tool account. What that looks like is the companies know that there are thousands of dollars worth of tools that you are gonna need to buy. What they do is they loan you the money to basically purchase these tools. And over a course of either you know, 52 weeks or 10 weeks, they break up what the cost of those tools were and they take it off your check. So let's say it's 10 weeks, it's a thousand dollars that they gave you for tools. Each week, they would take off a hundred dollars um, out of those 10 weeks for a thousand dollars. What's great about this is that it allows you to get some tools and it allows you not to spend all of that money up front, but also it is tax deductible. If you're looking to get into this and you're like, I don't wanna take advantage of any sort of tool account, I wanna make sure that I have all my tools, that way in case I wanna to go to a different company, I don't have to pay them back for anything, uh, you could get away with beginning um, probably about $1,000 to start, and you'll end up spending about $5,000 in total once you purchase all of the tools. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give you guys a couple lists at the end of this. We're gonna be sending you in some documents, a list of the tools that most of the clients um, will expect you to have because they've seen other people use them, but also what most companies are gonna want you to have as well. That way you can kind of have the tool bag for the show that shows the client that you're well prepared but we're not doing every tool underneath the sun. But what do those tools look like for the company that you're trying to get hired on? This next section, um, we will go into a little bit more about the different types of companies. We talked a little bit about how there's residential and commercial. What we're gonna now do is when you guys are looking for companies um, to send your resumes to, 
how do you find those companies? And once you find those companies, what are the next steps in communication? And um, how are you going to want to really approach them? And we'll see you guys here in this next video.